And so on to the fourth. And this sees Andrew Anders Gluerson. He was the second fastest in qualifying, 2.51.88. That was uh, 1.18 slower than Pellegrino from the first. So representing Canada, Len Vallas, Dario Colonia. There's an awful lot here. You know, it's not flat, uh, but it's got a, you know, it's got the undulation, it's got the climb, it's got the turns. I love it. And the fact, David, that it's said two times around uh, just the 700 meters, I think that gives us all a, a, a fantastic view. And I love this aerial camera, which follows the athletes up from the start and then down the big hill. You see exactly what they're doing and a good way to learn for those trying to become sprinters to learn how it should work. And Mr. Davos, it is leading. It is Dario Colonia on home snow in his hometown in that very distinctive dark suit for Switzerland and uh, being followed around. I think that's uh, Len Vallas. It is for Canada in second place. And then right behind him, Jesper uh, yes, Modin for uh, Sweden in the all-white. On the left of your picture, wearing 12, that's uh, Bernard Tritscher of Austria. And great support, uh, terrific crowd of turnout here. And this is the advantage of actually putting this right in the centre of the town. And I must say, Mike, uh, as we said yesterday, if you're coming to this part of Switzerland for your Christmas holidays, boy, you're going to have a great time out on the slopes. Ah, plenty of snow, and uh, well, in fact, I think it's just stopped snowing recently. Just thinking, Dario's at the front. He said yesterday he didn't know whether he wanted to be happy or annoyed. He came fourth, and then he said, well, he, he was satisfied with, with his performance, but to lose the podium by 0.3 of a second, it, it really did frustrate him, so he wants to put it right today. So going out on their second rotation, it is Switzerland. Just, I would say, Canada and Sweden in second place. But you can see it's everything about position coming up to this hairpin. It is out of shot. Glurson, I think, is coming wide on the left side of our camera, he, uh, of our view. I think he left it late, but he's uh, he's managed to get through into second. Yeah, he wants to sneak up the inside, doesn't he? But uh, Dario's going to shut that door. <laughs> Dario certainly is. And Jesper Modin at uh, 1 meter 96. Uh, not easy to, to manage to pass. So Dario Colonia trying to make it gun to take, pillar to post here. This man, of course, who has won the season-long World Cup, is an Olympic gold medalist, and as you can imagine, rarely has to buy a drink in this town. <laughs> Dario still holding it, he's led from the start. Glurson now, I would think, might take him on the final 100, but what's Jesper Modin going to do? Maybe try and take it on the right side, it could be dangerous, someone might fall here. Yeah, look at the track craft there with the big man from Sweden. Yes, Bamodin. Very clear in his mind what he wanted to do. And good skis from all these three men here. Glerson can still have a go at this. The Canadian not far behind either. But it's Yes, Bamodin. Dario Colonia finding a bit more. And this is a surprise. Glerson's not going to finish in the first two, or is he? I don't think he did. I think that's Colonia's. That's uh, well. Glurson lost it there when Modin decided to work down the sea in a moment. Well, this was earlier on. This yeah. is where Glurson uh, made the decisive move up to the well second place. You've got to be so well balanced to cope with the narrow skis. Well, that's difficult. Yeah, but you can see actually Colonia was that little bit ahead. So. Colonia on the far side, the red of the Norwegian Glerson on the near side to you. Look at the boot. It's the boot, and it's definitely Colonia. Yeah, well judged. And a bit of a surprise there. I didn't expect Glerson to be... Uh, that's if he will, in fact, make it 2.52.3, the wind time there. It was only the first heat that was uh, around three minutes dead. A very good afternoon and welcome back to La Clusa for the uh, final event of the weekend. The men's four by ten kilometres already underway. The relays that the pace initially, well, only 1.25 kilometres about to be reached now. And uh, the pace, it's not pedestrian, but it's not dynamic yet. And uh, the athletes just wanting to settle down, find their own rhythm. There's France there. I thought France might start with the second team. Team number six, that's the Czech Republic going through with Martin Yax. And uh, just looking for other names, the black and yellow suit. Mike, uh, is that another of the French going through? He wasn't convincing. 
against uh, the Jan in, on the final 200, as we've, we've seen for four or five years now. He's always convincing in that last four or 500 the metres. Red bib uh, with uh, number three on. That's Eldar Roning taking their kilometres. Nice to see uh, the Czechs out front, confident enough to take the lead. We're running. So no uh, major changes as they go through the uh, end. Like uh, international footballers when, <laughs> when the clubs don't want to release them. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's something that they have to keep a careful eye on. I also think, Patrick, a, a big aspect, as, as, as we're well aware of, in 12 days' time, the Tour de Ski starts and testing uh, it rather than taking part. Yeah, Tour de Ski, one of the major parts of the season now for the cross-country skiers. Still in second place. It's an interesting point because I, I think every season we've seen the uh, the Tour de Ski play such a huge part and anyone missing it, there's a chance for, what, 450 World Cup points there. If you miss that, it really does lower your chances of winning the overall. This has lifted the pace without a doubt, but it's, it's not hurting anybody yet. Anything to stop the two Italians staying in the two tracks that are cut and just... Uh, controlling things from the front no they could easily do that absolutely uh, well maybe we should run through the squads and uh, our viewers can make their own minds up Hulk. sweden larson rickardson sodergren who's uh, that great distance specialist without a of late and of course with that dominating victory in the women's four by five this morning it's it's difficult to do but uh, yeah marit bjorgen is has been an incredible form <laughs> A very good morning and welcome to the winter sport order at the moment. Fiona Hughes uh, just outside the top 30, 425 off the uh, pace in particular uh, and also uh, uh, Kertu Niskanen, the defending champion Krista Lachtenmaki. If you were uh, watching the Tour de Ski with us, then you'll know that she was actually putting in some pretty good performances, including a, a second place uh, stage win in Oberhof. Six out of the gate. This is Edin Trieb from Canada, from Team Hardwood. The Canadians have come here with a pretty strong squad, both uh, in the men, killer Becky Scott, Olympic champion and world champion, but also uh, Sarah Renner as well. And now uh, this is Tribe, but uh, Sarah Young going uh, pretty well at the moment at uh, 1.1 kilometers. Uh, and just looking at uh, Tribe come five, and Sarah Young, 357.7. Started in pretty determined style, but there you can see now Rizhankova still with the advantage there, the Belarus racer. Really important, particularly in these sort of conditions today, to really find your way in Hintersarten and also a bronze medal as a junior in the 5K uh, Classic. And she also won last year the junior sprint freestyle final. So Hannah Brodin, uh, already big signpost that, you know, she was going to be someone who would really make an impact in the World Cup. And she's been involved in the junior world championships, not like today, the under 23 championships. This is the next step on the ladder for her. Welcome once again to Ottawa, this time for the men's pursuit over 10 kilometers in classic stride and glide and 10 kilometers in uh, freestyle. 2006 and another man uh, from the Norwegian here earlier in the week. And away they go. And it's what I suppose you would say are three climbs on the near side there for uh, Russia. Uh, that I thought that was for uh, Russia. It's a fairly inviting start here. It's the second hill, which is really the kilometre freestyle race earlier on. And uh, Miyazawa of uh, Japan in the lead. Miyazawa. 